Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Foodie Friday Charleston. Today, we're in Hutchinson Square at Wine and Tapas Bar. And we're actually shooting on St. Patrick's Day, and I know you guys love this place for the wine, but they do serve beer, and today I'm gonna be trying some green beer that I'm really excited about. I'm excited about the wine that they have. So are we done talking here? We, we are. are. All right, well, let's go try a glass. Wine and Tapas with one of our favorite people, Lucas Acosta, who is the general manager. Thank you so much for letting us come and spend some time with you. Thank you, Kelly. Tell me about Wine and Tapas and how long you guys have been open. So Wine and Tapas has been open since uh, January of 2019. We're going on our third year here um, at Hutchinson Square. Um, we are a small business. We love the community. We are all about catering for the community and making sure that we have great wines and great food for the people of Somerville. That's awesome. And I know Foodie Friday Charleston as a whole loves wine and tapas. So we appreciate you being here. We Thank come you. here quite often. So I know today is a little bit different because it is St. Patrick's Day. And so there's a lot of specials and things like that. But if somebody wanted to find out like what your staple items were here at Wine and Tapas, what would you say are your, your best sellers and, and things that you like to highlight the most? So I think we're most known for our meatballs, our homemade meatballs. Mm -hmm. um, we slow cook them for about four hours, um, 10 pounds of beef. We uh, season it um, and marinate it in the marinara sauce for four hours and bring it here to sell. Um, they're good. Yes, they're really good. They are good. <laughs> what uh, else? And they're big. Yes. Um, another staple would be the Italian bruschetta. Um, it, it's our toasted baguette and we um, put whipped feta on it uh, top it with the bruschetta mix, pesto, and balsamic glaze, and it is delicious. Um, really yes, good. I agree. We got um, the chocolate fondue, which is also another staple if you want to get something sweet with one of our um, fortified wines. Uh, it comes with Rice Krispies, strawberries, bananas, and green apples. Um, and you can dip it in the chocolate fondue, and it's easy to share. Good for sharing. I haven't had that before. I might have to try that. What about charcuterie? Do you do charcuterie? We do do charcuteries. We have a big selection of cheeses and meats, um, and it's all out of cart, so you can set up your own board. Um, we have about 10 selections of cheeses and 10 selections of meats. Um, it's all imported, and you can choose whatever you want. That's awesome, and I also will advocate for wine and tapas and say that you have amazing flatbreads as well as a really, really good caprese. Yes, yes we do. Tell us about that real quick. So the caprese that, salad, yes, the caprese salad, um, it goes in a bed of spring mix with uh, tomatoes and mozzarella cheese, fresh mozzarella cheese. And it's also topped off with the pesto and the balsamic glaze and it is phenomenal. It is. Um, and then the flatbreads we got, we change our flatbreads every so often, but my favorite one would be the mushroom and goat cheese uh, flatbread. Um, it comes with mozzarella cheese, goat cheese, um, mushrooms and onions, and it's also topped off with uh, honey and chives. It's the honey, I think, for mm -hmm. me. It just gives it that sweetness. Yeah, the honey um, uh, balances off the sourness of the goat cheese, and it's phenomenal Agreed. as Agreed. well. So do you just sell wine, or do you have other beverages here? We have a lot of wine, but we also do have uh, a large selection of craft beer. We got a couple taps of beer, and we also have um, liquor. We have uh, bourbon spe especially. Um, vodka, rum, tequila, we have some fortified wine, um, we have some mead, and we have some kombucha. You have a lot to mm -hmm. choose from. Where do you get most of your wines from? Where do they come from typically? The wines are all, most of them are imported. We like to have all imported wines. We do have some local wine, but most of our selection is imported from Italy okay. and France and um, all over the place. That's awesome, that's awesome. So again, today's St. Patrick's Day, so we are going to have a few specials. What are we gonna be tasting today? So we do have a couple food items on special for St. Patrick's Day. We have the cabbage and corned beef sliders, um, and we also have the shepherd's pie tarts. Oh, those will be fun. And then I think I might have seen a green beer. We do have a green yeah. beer also. Um, it is from New Serum, um, and it's a green Kolsch, and it's really, Refreshing and super good and super green. Now, do you just have it today or do you sell that just right around St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, that's just a special for St. Patrick's okay. Day. Very fun. So, 
If someone were to want to find you guys on social media, what is the best way for them to do that? The best way to find us would definitely be Facebook. Um, Facebook, we update our menu constantly, but you can also find us on Instagram and um, you can also find us online at uh, wineandtapas.com. That's right. And one more thing, what are your hours? Uh, we open Monday through Thursday, 3 p.m. to midnight, and then Friday and Saturday we open 3 p.m. to 2 in the morning. Very good. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. I thank really you. enjoyed this. This is going to be a lot of fun for us to try all these new specials that you have today. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page or any of our social media pages at foodiefridaycharleston.com. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.